I am Eric Briers. I am the chairman of uh, Europa Womo. And Europa Womo is a umbrella organization of patient organization for prostate cancer across Europe. And we have in 30 countries members and our members represent about 100,000 patients across Europe. So our mission of Europa Womo is that we are here to serve our membership, which means that we will help our members in the different countries to work for their members. So we give training, for instance. And a very important aspect of what we do is it always has to benefit patients. Otherwise, we will not do things. We not only do very, very serious thing about cancer. The Step Out program is that we have organized a run. And we organized the first run here in Berlin, which means that we have invited runners, men, women, to come to a stadium and to, to run for us. And to, this happens and in a very good atmosphere. And the objective of doing a run is to increase awareness. Because at the site of the venue where they were running, we had a tent. And in the tent was a giant prostate model so that we could clearly explain what is a prostate. So in reality, it is much smaller, but we could show things on this model. So the biggest challenge prostate cancer patients face is that they are detected too late. So there is no organized screening in Europe, nor anywhere else in the world, exceptions, uh, is that patients are not screened. So because this cancer does never, does not give any symptoms or pain. So if a patient then comes to the doctor with pain, and it is caused by prostate cancer, then the cancer is already metastasized. Because once it's metastasized, it probably will cause pain and other symptoms. And that is a real challenge. Because on the other hand, a lot of men don't even know they have a prostate. So why would they screen for something they don't even know? Well, we, we would like them to understand that if they would go for screening, that Probably in 97% of the cases, they would not have to worry afterwards. Only a few percent of the patients have a problem with their prostate, which is cancer. And that means that they, those who are then detected early, they can be cured. If they are detected too late, unfortunately, they are metastasized and they cannot be cured again. That's unfortunate. There are a lot of things that are said about uh, prostate cancer and that are in the realm of the fake science and fake information. Just to name one, there is such a sort of a common belief that prostate cancer is something like a benign cancer, which is not true. Because a lot of men get prostate cancer, metastasized, and they will die from it, not with it, which is one of these beliefs that existed. Another belief is that prostate cancer screening would harm men. That's something we don't understand. Because is if a prick in an arm to get some blood, is that harming men? So sometimes it is close to ridiculous. So because we have to find the cancer before we can treat it, what should be changing in healthcare policy is that we, from the authorities and the healthcare authorities, that we can get the screening done so that they organize an effective prostate cancer screening in the different member states of Europe. And to do that in a structured way and risk-based so that we will evaluate each step of the screening process whether or not we have to take this patient further in the screening process. For Europa Womo, we have no individual members. The members of Europa Womo are in the different member states. So they are in 30 countries, patient organizations, where they can become a member and can become effective collaborating members. They can then help peer-to-peer -peer support, for instance, in their country, talk to other patients, because they will have lived the disease. And if you live the disease, you really know what cancer is about. Uh, some of our members have far advanced cancer and they still are involved with, with other patients, informing them about side effects, what can be done about them. So they can become members of our members 
And if they are then really active, they may also qualify to come to Europa Warmer for a academy, summer school or winter school. So we give them then training, advanced training on cancer and on advocacy. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.